Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ogaf here today. Uh, today's E3 2015's first day, and Microsoft uh, have just finished their conference. One of the things I didn't mention in the conference, um, was subsequently mentioned later on, was the Xbox One streaming to a PC feature, which is uh, now live, albeit still in a, a beta stage. So, uh, armed with my Surface Pro 3, my Xbox One, uh, I've got a demo of The Witcher running here. So here's my wired Xbox One controller, which is going into the USB port of my Surface Pro. I'll go through the details of how this is done after I just show you a quick demo. I'm going to turn the sound back up on the Surface Pro so I can hear it. I'll resume my game. This works absolutely brilliantly. I'm feeling no lag at all. The inputs are uh, as I would expect. No passage, don't linger. Oi, I'm talking to you. You understand human? Get the fuck out. I'm doing this wirelessly of my 802.11 AC router. So the Surface Pro is connected wirelessly to my network. My Xbox is wired, but that shouldn't really have any impact uh, on the quality. One thing I've noticed is if you touch the screen, you do get a little menu and you can actually look. Uh, I think it's this one here. So down here, you can actually see the bandwidth it's using. So you can get an idea of um, if you've got a 802.11G wireless network or an N on AC, you can sort of see how much bandwidth it's actually using. I did also notice there's an option up here to adjust, which one was it? Could have been this one. Yeah, you've got high, medium or low settings. I've set it on high. Go back to the dashboard. See there, it streams the entire dashboard. Uh, the only thing I needed to do um, to turn this on was to go into my settings, into my preferences, and just to point out, this is only available, I believe, if you're in the preview program for Xbox One. Uh, this option, which appeared a few updates ago and then disappeared, has now reappeared. Allow game streaming to other devices. Beta is ticked. So I'll turn that on, and then I'm not sure how to get out of this program yet. But this stop streaming, so I'll come back to that. So this is my Surface Pro running Windows 10, the Windows 10 Preview. I must add, uh, add to that. Uh, and as part of the Windows 10 Preview program, there's a fully featured Xbox app, which is a bit like Smart Glass. Has all the things that you can look at your activity feed, your messages. But now, once it's been updated, when I go to my Xbox and see which Xbox I'm connected to, I see an option here for stream. And if I hit stream, it goes away and connects and shows me what is on my dashboard or what's on my Xbox. So let's resume The Witcher. I haven't done a huge amount of testing. I've only just discovered that this is live today. And this is my first uh, go at using this. It, it works absolutely beautifully, as far as I can see. I'm not feeling any lag. So uh, in theory, I could take my Surface Pro upstairs, uh, sit in bed, play it, sit in the other room, in theory, I have the ability to play this remotely as well, but that won't be available to most users. You will need some additional software to do that, which I can take you through in another video. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe if you like the video, like it, dislike it, do what you want. It's a great feature. Thanks, Microsoft. 
in their league three today.